This is a very interesting time in history for the entire world. Currently, we have Russia still attempting to invade Ukraine. We have China potentially going to have conflicts with Taiwan. Now we have Israel and Hamas fighting. This means Israel and the Palestinian people are going after each other. Now, here's what's happening as of today. As of today, it was reported that there has been nine U.S. people, nine Americans killed in Israel, and there are many others that are still missing. Now, why does all this matter? All this matters because, number one, we are all people. Number two, as people start to you know, be killed, it creates more and more conflicts. Here's the next thing you need to understand. Israel, they now vow to uh, a complete siege of Gaza as it strikes the Palestinian territory after incursion by Hamas. What does that mean? What is a complete siege? Well, let's look at this. It says right here, Israel's military ordered a complete siege of the Gaza Strip on Monday, halting entry of food, fuel, and supplies to its 2.3 million people as it pounded the Hamas-ruled territory with waves of airstrikes in retaliation for the militants. Now, there's 2.3 million people that reside in the Gaza Strip. The Gaza Strip is one of the most densely populated areas in the entire world. 2.3 million people live in that one area. Many of these people are not part of Hamas. Okay, These people are regular citizens just trying to live a normal life under Hamas rule. So what is happening is Israel is striking not just Hamas militants, but also normal everyday citizens. That's creating a problem. What we are now hearing, we're hearing from Russia that the United, they're saying that the United States is creating even greater danger. The United States is creating more conflict. And now we have even higher risks. So Russia is accusing the U.S. of being pretty much destructive, that we are not helping in any way. But many lawmakers believe that they're doing exactly what we need to do. The interesting part about all this is that it is still very early on. Even this morning, we heard from the Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer uh, from the U.S. Senate, and he stated that he wants China to support Israel. But what's interesting about this is that there's actually some, some speculation, and it was reported by the Wall Street Journal as well. Let me show you this, okay? It says, Iran helped Hamas plot an Israel attack over several weeks and gave the green light, according to the Wall Street Journal. Okay? It says, Iranian security officials helped plan Hamas's Saturday surprise attack on Israel and gave the green light as the assault uh, for the assault at a meeting in Beirut last Monday. Now, what's interesting about this is that Israel, again, okay, they are so they're obviously they're being attacked and and the last report was over 1200 people uh have uh their, their lives have been taken now where things get somewhat complicated if israel decides to attack iran this is where the, U, the u.s is already we're already intertwined into this obviously because you know, Israel is one of our closest allies. They're actually the closest ally in the Middle East. They are a, you know, a non-NATO ally. But what's very interesting about this and what is going to create a conflict is if Iran did help Hamas attack Israel. The reports say that is what happened. So what is going on now is Israel is now going to be looking at Iran. Did Iran really help them and to what extent if they did and Israel decides to attack Iran this would be the problem Iran and and again I hate to say this because it all comes down to money but if Israel attacks Iran 
you can expect to pay a dollar, two dollars, maybe three dollars more per gallon of gas than you are paying right now. What we are hearing from experts is for people around the world, not just in the United States, in Europe, everywhere. You need to fill up your gas tanks because if this gets worse, if this intensifies, we are going to have to pay even more money for fuel, for energy, for food, and everything else. Now, here's what is happening. Like I said, the US, um, the Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, he asked China for additional help. He wants China to support Israel. Well, this is from CNBC as of this morning, okay? It says, US leans on China to use influence with Iran to cool Middle East tensions. It says down here in the key points, Schumer and five other US senators representing both the Republicans and Democratic parties met with Chinese President Xi Jinping earlier on Monday among other high level meetings. The meeting lasted about 80 minutes, Schumer said about twice what they have been expecting. The good news is they are at least coming together. The bad news is there does not look like there's anything that's gonna happen immediately. Now, something that was brought up this morning and I looked into it uh, was, did President Biden fund this attack? Okay, that was the big question. Did President Biden fund this attack? And you're probably thinking, well, how would he have funded an attack by Hamas on Israel? Well, here's what was being said. Okay, and then I will give you the what's really happening. It says Republican lawmakers continue to make the claim without evidence that the Biden administration's recent unfreezing of six billion dollars in Iranian funds were used to fund the attack on Israel. Okay, that's what has been uh, discussed. Is okay when we unfroze six billion dollars in funds. Is that what they used for Hamas to attack Israel? Well, according to The Hill this morning and uh, Secretary Blinken, he says the $6 billion in frozen Iranian funds remain unspent in wake of Hamas attack. Okay. Now it says right here, the facts are these. No U.S. taxpayer dollars were involved. These were Iranian resources that Iran had accumulated from the sale of its oil that were struck that were stuck in the bank of South Korea. They have had uh, from day one under our law, under our sanctions, the right to use these monies as human for humanitarian purposes. From one account to another, in another country to facilitate that use, as of now, not a single dollar has been front has been spent from that account. Okay. So he's he's outright saying that the money's there. The money has not been spent. That was other money, probably from the sale of oil. So that's what's happening right there. Now, what you need to keep in mind is that the U.S. is going to, you know, we're going to get involved. We already are. According to the most recent reports, we are going to see uh, right now Israel is putting together. They're gathering about 100,000 troops. Okay. They're gathering about 100,000 troops, and the goal is for them to uh, prepare their attack within the next 24 to 48 hours. That's what's being said. Now, at the same time, Secretary Austin, he made a statement the other day that said that they're moving USS uh, Gerald R. Ford, the uh, carrier, um, they're moving that into the Eastern Mediterranean so that it's closer to Israel. The force also includes um, the, the carrier, a guided missile cruiser, and four guided missile destroyers. Okay. He also said that the United States has uh, taken the steps to augment U.S. Air Force F-35s, F-15s, F-16s, and A-10 fighter aircraft um, in the region. And so the United States is providing a lot of munitions as well. They're providing military equipment. They're providing much of the assistance to you to uh, to Israel. So right now, that's what's happening. I want to be very clear on one other thing, though. This this is a war. This is a war. Uh, thousands, if not tens of thousands, of people are going to lose their lives right now. Yes, nine Americans have been confirmed 
um, dead, more have been taken, they're still missing. Um, there's a lot of questions about what's going on right now. What I can tell you is that the United States is going to part, be part of this. And this is where some say, are, you know, this is, this is a, a monumental time in history because the United States, even though we're not fighting our own wars, we are in the middle of many of these, okay? This Russia and Ukraine ordeal has been going on for a while. We're in it. We continue to fund um, Ukraine to make sure that Russia doesn't overtake them. If China ever decides to uh, you know, invade Taiwan, the United States has already made it clear we will be involved. We will protect Taiwan. As Hamas and the Palestinians you know, attack Israel, the United States and President Biden has made it clear the United States fully backs Israel. And so, again, this is a, it's a huge moment in time. This is something that you will remember in the next 10, 20, 30 years is all the conflicts, all the issues that happened in 2023. So that is what we know at this time. As we get more information, I promise I'll bring you all the latest news and updates. Again, all I ask is if you can spend just two seconds, go ahead, hit that like button, consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys on the next one.